Charles de Gaulle is one of the most powerful aircraft carriers outside the United States ever to sail. But there is something different about the island of this French carrier. If you noticed, the island on France's Charles de Gaulle is unusually far forward compared to US supercarriers. This wasn't the ideal choice for flying planes. The main reason is the ship's two K-15 nuclear reactors, which are located centrally. Since the US carriers are much bigger, they have more flexibility, but the smaller French hull required some creative thinking. The need for overhead access to those two K-15 nuclear reactors is absolutely critical. Since the reactors are positioned right in the heart of the ship for structural balance, that central area must be kept clear for major maintenance and, crucially, for replacing the nuclear fuel rods. It's a non-negotiable structural demand. The massive, heavy island simply couldn't sit over the core, and since the hull dimensions didn't allow for a clear placement far aft like on American ships, the entire structure had to be dramatically relocated to the only remaining viable spot, far forward. Pushing the island forward solves two major problems at once. First, it respects the reactor space. Second, and just as important, it yields a huge, crucial, uninterrupted expanse of clear deck behind it, which is exactly where you need to stage and park aircraft. This open area acts as a giant flexible zone, letting the crew quickly refuel and rearm their powerful jets, like the Rafale M. This arrangement ensures the limited deck space on the Charles de Gaulle is used to its absolute maximum potential. We can't forget the small operational perks either. The forward spot gives the navigation team on the bridge a much clearer view when maneuvering the ship into tight harbors or waterways, which is a big benefit for the ship's captain. Additionally, by moving the island out of the way, the flow of air over the angled landing deck is cleaner, which helps reduce air turbulence over the deck where pilots are trying to land. If you think this supercarrier's island really makes sense, Comment below and hit us with your best comment.